basically the book is every flat earth meme you've ever seen in book form which makes it much less interesting because there's no pictures <laughs> and you can't reply to the author of the meme that has just this basic thin you know hair thin understanding of anything in a meme because that's what a meme is it's it's a not understanding thing um and and question them if they're like this is the map the un map the un logo is the map of the world it's like oh well but that map doesn't work for uh, navigation oh I, I, you see you can do that on facebook you can't do that in in this in a book form it makes it so much less interesting um <clears throat> now of course what does a flat earther do when challenged on the inaccuracy of their of a map um run away accuse you of being a shill or um change a topic or in uh, my favorite is meme storm where they'll post uh 666 uh memes on a different topic that's that's what they like to do so anyway <clears throat> In the book, Billy writes about a guy named Max. Now, Max is of Greek descent. Coincidentally, I'm sure, I'm sure coincidentally, so is Billy. Max changed his name from his Greek-sounding last name to a non-Greek-sounding last name, Carter. Billy Zigoris has changed his name, at, at least in the book, uh, to Billy Zig. I'm sure that's just coincidence. Um, in the book, Max is a flat earther that knows all of the memes. Billy knows all of the memes, but I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Um, in the book, Max has some serious substance abuse issues. Don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so let me get here. Th this, like, right away. Max claims, evaporation can frequently create a lensing or magnifying effect, often manifesting the sun to appear larger over the horizon as it travels across a liquid condensed atmosphere. Now, I copy pasted that from the book. A liquid condensed atmosphere. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. That doesn't make any sense. What's a liquid condensed atmosphere? Um, oh, darn it. So the super chats, um, have, uh, have rolled off. Don't want to lose them. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, in fact, that's the opposite of what, uh, what is known about, about humidity and refraction, because what is known about humidity and refraction is that increased humidity reduces refraction um and so would reduce any effects of of lensing um and it doesn't do it horizontally it only can affect things vertically uh so it doesn't actually magnify things so so uh then what is billy what is liquid condensed atmosphere is are you saying that the atmosphere has condensed to liquid um because that is condensation is gas to liquid um, but liquid atmosphere, like oxygen, nitrogen, condensed, they have to get very cold to condense. Um, or water condensing, well, when water condenses, it, it forms water droplets. It comes out of, you know, it's no longer the humidity in the air, it's then water droplets in the air. Um, and when they get big enough, they fall down. But there can be water droplets in the air. We call that clouds or fog. It doesn't magnify things. It blocks your view of things. So, all right, you, you missed on that one there. Anyway, I kind of give this this list. I started giving a list of like the different memes that he went through. I'm like, there's too many. So, yeah, he, he claims science is scientism. He uses the word math magicians when he doesn't understand math. Um, he says photos from space are Photoshop, even the ones before computer graphics, like 1972. He says the 1972 photograph taken on a Hasselblad camera and developed with liquids in a dark room. He says that was computer generated. 
somehow don't know. Uh, he claims, as is common, that level means flat, even though level has a definition, a curved surface. You can see about 45 of them on my website at mc2.net slash level. He gets confused between curve and elevation. This not understanding the globe doesn't disprove it. So he's like, how can rivers flow to the north? Because he thinks that north is down somehow. No, Billy, you're just wrong because you can't, I don't know. He didn't finish eighth grade, I guess. I don't know. He dismisses actual science without looking at it. He uses the incorrect mathematical formula. Of course, he used eight inches per mile squared to predict the amount hidden. It is an appropriate formula for the appropriate use, but it is not useful for predicting how much of a distant object is hidden. He quotes Nikola Tesla, who did not think the Earth was flat. He completely misunderstands Einstein theory of relativity in a hilariously naive way in chapter 16. It is ridiculously wrong. Not even, not even middle school understanding of it. Terrible. Uh, typical uh, flat earther, he uses perspective. The sun goes away because of perspective. No, it doesn't. Perspective can be calculated, Billy. It's not hard. Anybody that finished eighth grade in the United States and successfully finished the math class has enough education to calculate perspective. Flat earthers clearly are excluded from that. Uh, he uses a... Uh, <laughs> Billy Zig, who lives in Australia... As his his uh his guy Max uh, referenced the azimuthal equidistant map or the Gleason's map, which um which shows Australia to be about two and a half times the size that Australians know it to be. Well done, Billy Zig, referencing a map that is definitely wrong. And living in Australia, um <clears throat> yes. And uh, again, typical, he says that planes have to dip their nose in, in, in order to avoid flying into space, not understanding the dynamics of flight doesn't disprove anything. It just shows that you don't understand it. So it's basically every backward flirt mean meme in book form. Oh, love this. So <clears throat> Max, it's Billy speaking through Max uses the same not science process or the anti-science method, whatever you want to call it. Us, number one, select a conclusion. The earth is flat. Number two, search for anything that supports your pre-selected conclusion. Number three, ignore anything that contradicts your pre-selected conclusion. And then number four, declare that your pre-selected conclusion has been unquestionably proven. So... Anyway, I give a couple examples because I want this this uh, review to be uh, something that anybody could look for. So some different measurements of the shape of the Earth um, by different people prior to 1850. Long time ago, people knew this. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, what do do uh, do Max and Sam, the characters in this book? Sam is the guy that Max is trying to convince. Do they, do they uh, examine any of this good evidence? No, of course not. They pretend it doesn't exist. In fact, claiming it has never been done, no doubt Billy Max has never looked at any of these things. Um, <clears throat> it, it, is, it is just, it's so meme, just memes. Uh, in chapter 22, they misquote Einstein. I have where he said, I have come to the conclusion that the motion of the Earth cannot be detected by any optical experiment. Period. Billy put a period in there, which is a lie, Billy, because Einstein did not end his sentence there. The sentence continued, though the Earth is revolving around the sun. Right? And, and Einstein was not specifically talking about not being able to measure the Earth's rotation. He was talking about relativity, which you don't understand, uh, in that taken in isolation, looking at the stars, an optical uh, experiment, looking at the stars and seeing their apparent movement, you cannot, in isolation, identify if those stars are moving or if you are moving or if both of you are moving. You can't identify that in isolation. 
That's all that Einstein meant. It didn't mean, not at all, that you could not use the Sanyak effect to measure rotation. You can. It happens all the time in airplanes. Doesn't mean that you can't use some other mechanisms to measure rotation. And this is specifically talking about, in this chapter, the focal pendulum, which is not an optical experiment. Yeah, <clears throat> you got to light a flurf. So um, <clears throat> I give a couple citations here to different um, measurements of rotation for uh, anybody to look at later. Um, should they read the review on Amazon? Uh, chapter 24 is dedicated to failing to refute gravity. Um, the only experiment that they mention is the Cavendish experiment and then say it's an experiment from antiquity. So you don't need to look at it basically. Um, <clears throat> and then, and then this is awesome. The, the, the word salad here, get your dressing ready. The down is just the way the object moves to seek stillness where it will then rest unconditionally unless enacted again by another force deep thoughts by jack handy um yeah that ignores the laws of motion the laws of the law of gravitational attraction and the thousands of experimental uh, empirical experiments that confirm that mass attracts mass he doesn't uh, look at any of them he just pretends they don't exist um <clears throat> Chapter 27 is when he actually first gets to what he thinks are measurements. And this is the classic. You know it already if you know anything about flat earthers. What do they do for their proof that the earth is flat? They go to water on a day that has particularly favorable conditions for them. And then they look across the water, ignore refraction, typically use the wrong formula and therefore declare the earth is flat without taking into account conflating variables or the huge amounts of other evidence contradicting flat earth they're they're like only one thing do they have and that somehow makes everything else not happen um not exist stop existing i don't know they actually do they have two things that they do the other thing that they do is they they uh, cherry pick video of high el high of el el high elevation balloons that are um uh either right in the middle of the frame with with a rectilinear with a uh, curved lens or they'll actually take a screenshot from one that has a like a GoPro lens where the horizon is flat because of the curve of the lens. Um, they don't like using rectilinear lenses or having an external reference to know that the lens is not <clears throat> imparting some distortion to it. But when you do that, um, <clears throat> you see curve at high elevation. Dwayne Kellum, mz2.net slash Dwayne Kellum, a flat earther that put a rectilinear lens in a balloon, went to 120,000 feet, and you see curve of the horizon. Sorry, Billy. I mean, Max, right? <clears throat> All blurfs are liars. But can Max get any stupider? Um... Uh, this uh, In chapter 29, Max claims the moon is recharged by the sun and then emits its own light. How can the moon emit light and cast shadows on itself, as you see in the craters of the moon? Don't know. He never answers it. An impossibility. Uh, uh, a a self-illuminating a light bulb doesn't cast shadows on itself. So um, he does go into some more, like, as you get farther through the book, Max's substance abuse gets more aggressive. I don't know if that's an illusion. I don't know if he sees himself in Max. I don't know if that's just trying to put the story in. I don't know what it is, but, uh, yeah, it's, <clears throat> uh, anyway, chapter 33, Billy, yeah, Freemason, uh, um, Max, Max uh, gets in a, in a plane and flies across the Antarctic ice wall 
where they discover the future, the futuristic city of Kushna. Yes. Yes, Max is a pothead. And the the country that they discover is Kushna. They get put in jail and then he wakes up. It's just a dream. Why was that in there? I don't know. It was kind of pointless. Uh, it's like some third grader had to write something and uh, he needed to give cha a chance. Um, then back to the memes. Finally, in, in chapter 46, yes. Chapter 46, before you actually get to the stuff, um, Max is independently wealthy. Uh, definitely not. I think that's where Max and Billy part ways. Um, he he gets Odysseus, which is an actual, apparently actual uh, plane that is solar powered, can go um, autonomously fly for any distance. He gets that and he sends it to fly across the Antarctic uh, ice wall out to the outer lands. Um, <clears throat> and uh, they get pictures of more lands somehow. Um, and that's kind of the end of the book there. Big party. Um, but you know, Max could have just, uh, applied for a job to go work at the South Pole Station. Thousands of people have been there. You can. Um, <clears throat> but here's, here I, I leave my review with this one thing. If the earth were flat, the sun could never set. End of flat earth. And that's perspective um if if the the sun is above then no matter how far you go away the angle above is more than zero so the the zenith angle is is the the measurement right straight up is zero degrees horizontal is 90 degrees if something is above the plane of the flat earth, the zenith angle will never get below 90 degrees. The sun could never get obstructed by the horizon. And you can see that when you go to the ocean, because the ocean, according to them, is flat and level. But if it ever goes below that, then it doesn't work. Perspective doesn't explain it. Perspective explains that it could never happen so there you go billy there's my review of your book it has been submitted to um <clears throat> amazon uh, i'm sure it will be approved it is fair i think it is on my website mc2.net slash the dash elusive dash curve